You sort of addressed what I was going to ask, which was when LeBron left, it seemed like there was a focal message that we're not, you know, I mean, it was said we're not done yet and, and almost a uh, venting of we're going to get back. Do you feel the same way now that you and the people at the top now that you did then? Well, you know, that being said, and the fact that it didn't happen, you know, we probably, obviously, if there wasn't that change that sort of triggered a lot of other changes in our thinking in, in, in the direction we went, and then that it didn't trigger the, the injuries. I mean, injuries became part of the whole, the whole year, and, and losing key players, uh, this is where we are, you know. However, if, in fact, the, the whole thing stayed the same, we'd probably be back where we're supposed to be, but it didn't. So, you know, that's behind us. That's already 14 months ago, and uh, I think maybe not. Uh, but uh, it's been a while, and, uh, and and we have we have all moved on, you know, from it from that standpoint. So um, I do believe, and, and I made this statement earlier, and I think if you take a look at the depth chart, that that we do have those developed players that have had significant roles other places, and who are and have had star years and have carried franchises. Uh, at least two of our players have, and, and other players who have played in incredible roles somewhere else that, you know, you would like to see the team just one game, if you could have, intact to play one game. We never had a chance to see that, that you know, after, after LeBron left. So, but, but I think we, we, we've gathered ourselves, and then we went through, um, you know, a, a, a real disappointing year from the standpoint of, of setbacks, and so from that standpoint, uh, I think uh, we're happy as an organization with where we are. We'll be even happier with uh, with uh, the players that show up at training camp uh, in great shape and in great health, and and get through a year next year where there's a minimum of adversity. And uh, I think we'll be right back competing, uh, unlike a lot of people think we can. Pat, with all the injuries that Eric had to deal with, all the curveballs thrown his way, as a former coach, what was your opinion of all the challenges he had with 30 different lineups this season? He's like, uh, he, I think he expressed it. You know, it's like a puzzle, you know, every night, you know. The one thing a coach wants is that, and it's the easiest way to coach, is that once you come out of training camp and you set uh, a lineup, you know, based on offense and defense, um, then I think from that standpoint, you know who you're going to post with every night. You know, those five guys are going to you know start the game, and, and the, when the ball goes up, you hope that probably 90% of the time that that's going to be your starting lineup, and you know who you're going to come off the bench with. And obviously this year he didn't have that at all, and so you know he wasn't making it up as he went along. He had to tweak, obviously, a lot of things, you know, within his game plans to uh, to deal with the changes that that he was forced uh, to deal with, you know, from that standpoint. Pat, I wonder. I know it's been almost a year. If you've reached a point where you've you're at peace with the way LeBron left. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, I, yeah, I am at peace with it. Yeah. We didn't get to ask about Dwayne. Um, obviously, he missed a lot of time last year for a maintenance program. This year, he missed more time, about a quarter of the schedule, due to actual injuries. You always talk about a player as he gets older, has to get in better shape, has to be better prepared, and things like that. Can you achieve your master plan if Dwayne Wade is going to miss a quarter of the season? Um. Players today have a tendency to be able to play longer. You know, it's just the way it is. And if you if you go back into the into the 70s, you know, I, I saw all the great ones leave around 34, 35 years old because of injury or age or or that's when you were supposed to retire. Very few, you know, played, you know, longer than that. I think over the last 30 or 40 years with nutrition and with uh, training and with weights and, you know, different, you know, styles of, 
of getting ready to play. Uh, a player can, uh, you know, play a lot longer. There, there's no doubt that that we're going to need Dwayne, you know, every single night that he's available. He is uh, a great, great, great player. And right up there, you know, in this organization, you know, I mean, you know, for the 12 years he's been here, uh, the best of the best. Uh, we had glimpses of Shaq and glimpses of LeBron and, you know, other players, but he's been the one truly great player along with Alonzo that, uh, that has been the, the bedrock of this team. And so uh, to answer your question, yes, we uh, – we're going to need him, and, and and I think also with Dwayne, as I made a point earlier, is he's got to change the narrative himself about his body and about his injuries and about his missing games, and 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 we've had a discussion about this, but he always, you know, has to answer those questions, and I know those questions are legitimate because they're real, you know, and. So night in and night out, there's always the question of whether or not he can or he can't. And, and so I'd like to have him try to get back, get past that first hurdle, you know, mentally, and do whatever he has to do to get himself ready to practice and himself ready to play and uh, each and every night. And so he's got five months uh, to continue to work. And so this isn't just a Dwayne Wade problem. It's just throughout the league with a lot of players and – you know, just, you know, on your, your ten fingers, some of the greatest players in the league this year, you know, missed the entire season with injuries, and they're going to be facing the same kind of narrative. So the player can control that if he chooses to. And But we're going to help him become, again, uh, uh, you know, the Dwayne Wade that we know that we can always depend on in the fourth quarter also. But, you know, take a look at his numbers this year. Uh, we don't have anybody like him other than probably, you know, if in fact when – if in fact we're fortunate enough to have you know Gorn to be able to uh, uh, to score like that, or Chris, you know, in the fourth quarter, this is this is a, a it could be probably the greatest challenge in his career, and he's only 32 years old, I think, maybe he's 33. We argued about that the other day in the exit meeting, and you know everybody makes you older than you think you are than you are. People make me older than I am. And I am 70, but they're always trying to make me older than I am. They're always trying to ask me, why, why are you staying around this game? And we're doing the same thing with him. We're making him older than, than what he is. He's just, he's had some issues. He's going to deal with them, and we're going to help him get strong and, and, uh, and have one of those career years. I know he's capable of it. Why did you just do that? You just made me older. <laughs> no, I didn't. Huh? I love the game. I, I, I love the competition, and they all make me feel younger. You know, so I mean, it's it's uh, it's it's a great game, and and the challenge now to build this team with with a nice, you know, uh, you know, group of players. You know, with uh, I mean, if you look at Donovan's face and Wilson's face, and you know, think of those guys. I mean, Mariana. Take a look at uh, you know Lissick over there. He's in the ticket business. When you look at these guys every day, how could you not want to stay here forever? You know. And they actually will buy. They look at Donovan. He's so serious there, Tim. Will you pick up a check just one time? Next time, okay, you got it. <laughs> Thank you, guys.